Hey, hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for coming back. Today I'm going to talk about why I chose this particular drone and uh, all the stuff that comes with it and a couple of little things that you're going to need once you get it. You don't necessarily need them, but you're going to want them. But anyway, I picked the DJI Mini 2 drone and you can see the video from that camera that I'm recording on now and it's in uh, high, it claims to be high definition but um, you're not going to believe the picture quality of this drone and one thing that I that I do have to say I opened up the wrong legs first but one thing I do have to say is uh, the picture quality of this drone is just fantastic. And although it does have uh, 4K, it says 4K right there on the on the little uh, three axis gimbal camera. And it takes excellent video, but I I've, I've, I found that it works best for me in 1080 not the 2k or the 4k because my computer is just not good enough or fast enough to process a 4k video so i record it in 1080 and i upload in 1080 which is still high definition and it's good video quality and i'm gonna fly this in a minute and show you a little bit uh, the other thing is I got the package it has three batteries the third battery is in the drone and, uh, and it's pretty nice and, and this little charging thing here it has lights here that will let you know how much your batteries are charged let me see like if I push it once it'll light up the lights and show you how much the batteries are charged and it works very easily by plugging in a USB cable and it's a C type cable you plug it in plug this into the wall and charge it or you can plug it into a USB outlet on your Jackery or whatever kind of battery power supply backup power supply you have that you want to charge it with if you want to know more about the battery backups that I use to charge this when I'm out on the road comment below and if you have any questions uh, ask them below the description and I'll be happy to try to answer as many as I can but uh, can't get to all of them but I will try um, and this this remote is fantastic the remote control it's got nice grips on the on the little pegs here where you turn it on and everything we'll turn it on in a minute I gotta go get my phone I didn't bring my phone out and uh, you basically take this out and plug it into your phone and your phone screen becomes the, the screen for the drone. You can get a remote that has a, a screen on it, but the remote is like $800 if you get one with the screen. You've already got the cell phone, so use the cell phone. So I'm gonna take a break, go get my cell phone and I'll be right back and then we'll talk a little bit more about it. And uh, I'll just be right back. Okay, now I'm back. So uh, I got my phone, plugged this in, and yeah, I did get the DJI Mini 2. And I have found that it has a couple of things that I wished it had that it does not have. And I'm going to tell you what those two things are. Uh, the follow me mode, it shows up on the app and everything but it, it does not have what you think of as a follow me mode where you can just click on a button and say follow me and it will follow you. You have to use a hack or a workaround to get it to follow you. That's the one. Uh, the number two thing this does not have that I wish it had was obstacle avoidance. It don't have that. So, so that's two things it, it don't have. Uh, the other thing that I wish was included in the, the app for the drone is screen record. Uh, you see a lot of videos where people are flying drones and they're recording their screen. Well, they've downloaded an app or paid for an app. And I have yet 
to find the proper app to, to record my screen when I'm flying or for any purpose. So I've not really been able to um, to do that part, record the screen. So I'm sorry about that. I won't be having none of that on this video. But I did want to show you one thing that I did get, and I should have put it on before I put my phone on, is I got the lanyard. And if you haven't seen my other videos where I got the landing pad, uh, you can check out the playlist at the end of the video and it will it's it's in there a lighted landing pad I might have a little bit on that on this video about that too but this is a nice lanyard I've not used it yet let me see it goes like that okay and this piece you have to take your phone back off I think lay the phone down it slips in right there that has to be just it has to be exactly in the right spot it goes there I guess that's gonna stay on there <laughs> and then you put your phone back in just by laying your phone there and pulling up on the antenna which is also that holds the phone and now that's on there and now, instead of having to hold your... Oh, okay. So now you can just... Hands-free, I guess. Not really, but anyway. So now, let's uh, keep things from blowing away here. Let's try and turn on all this stuff and see how it works. So first thing I'm going to do is turn on my controller here. You turn it on by pushing the button once and then holding it down. And then on your cell phone, you I know you can't see, I'm sorry. And then you hit the DJI app and it will come up. And now that the DJI app is on, now to turn your drone on, you push the button once and then you hold it in for a few seconds. And you see the blades wiggling there. And you see the gimbal getting ready to go. So let's just, I'm waiting for it to connect to the, to the fly app on the phone now. Okay, it's connecting. It says take off with caution. I do have trees right above me. I'm waiting for satellites. Sometimes it takes a few seconds. It's still working, looking for satellites. Let's see, take off with caution, no GPS. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Now it's, now it's got some. Let's see how many it's got here. It's got 18, 18 satellites. So now I'm gonna turn it, turn it on. Take off. Woo, it's, uh, it's on. Now I'm going to raise it up. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. And I'm going to turn it around. And I'm going to go right beside the camera if I can. There you go. And now I'll put the video up, the video quality up, and show you the difference between the the camcorder I'm using and the and the drone. The picture quality is just gonna be phenomenal on the drone. So now let's take off and do a little fly test. Once I get past the tree, I'll take it up. And we're at, I'm just gonna say 50 feet. We'll go up higher than that. We'll go up to 100 feet, which scares me to death. I don't know why I get so scared using this thing. <laughs> but uh, now you can see the picture quality. 
It's pretty good. It's fantastic, it's what it is. Yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna try to look down at the ground so I can see where I'm going. I'm looking straight down now and I'm gonna come back down and bring it back over here on the table and land it. I can. I was at a hundred feet. I can see. That's pretty good. So now I'm gonna put the camera back up so I can look over here when I turn it around. That's dead level. The camera is level. And where am I? There I am. And I'm gonna bring it over here. Try not to run into myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay so you can see the picture quality and everything i really appreciate you guys watching check out my list playlist at the end of this video i'll have another video for you soon you guys have a fantastic day this is harold signing out baby stay cool